What's up tonight? We're going over the Bulletproof Dispute Tracker. Now, this is a super, super simple way to track your letters to the CRAs, collectors, and creditors and be easily able to stay on top of your plan of action, right? See, if you're not organized, then you're not going to know when they received it and when you should be sending it and how to catch them in violations if you don't have these dates and don't mark down your strategies, all right? So I'm giving you two very simple tables. Number one is where you track your rounds, like Round number one, round number two, round number three, the date that you sent it, the date they received it, obviously if you're sending it out certified, right? The strategy you used, like a request for investigation and who this letter even went to, the bureaus, the creditor, the collector, and some notes like TransUnion did not understand the nature of your dispute, right? Obviously, that is a stall tactic. Now, we have a second table. As you can see, it's only one page on here, right? This is where you're going to track your account deletions and corrections. Now, instead of putting deleted on here, you can put a correction. So it would be your account. I'm going to give you an example, the date, deleted, reinserted, or added. So let's just go add some of these in. And yes, you can access this right down in the description. Use the link. It's totally free. Like I mentioned, don't shortchange yourself, get your results. And the way that you do this is by tracking everything that you do, right? You see, one part is missing on here, but it's pretty straightforward when you should be disputing again. All right. So the date sent one, one, the date received one, five. So we're going to say that we're going to send out another letter on two, six. Okay. So all we're doing is adding in 30 days on here, technically 31. You want to give yourself a little bit of time to pull that report, check for deletions, corrections, reanalyze, and kind of go on from there. So let's add four days to this. So we're going to have two, 10. You're going to let them know that, hey, they ignored you. Basically, it's toppled by silence. Remove this stuff from the credit report because obviously you received it. You didn't say anything. And it means that I am correct as always. All right. We're going to say that we sent this out to um, the bureaus. And we can even say that we now disputed with the creditor on this one. And there's even enough space for you to put, you know, what your method or strategy was for the creditors as well as the collectors, right? And you're going to use this for your own dispute so you can mark it up however you want. This is just to make it easier for you to organize. So we're going to make a little note on here about how they did not respond. And so it's going to say, all right, no response received, even though it said no reply over here. So now let's say we have our accounts and um, we're just going to mark these down on here. So let's say we're on round three and we got finally a deletion. It's just going to say um, capital one. We're going to say our deletion came in March. So our first deletion is going to be, I don't know, 3-15-2022. And it's going to be a deletion and it's going to be a deletion on Experian. All right. So now we have our deletion on Experian. There's nothing that's been reinstated, nothing having been added. Okay. So as you can see, it's really, really simple. But again, this is so that you can have a plan of action and know exactly when to send out your next dispute. All right. So if you have questions about this, post it down in the comments. I hope that this gave you some value. And if it did, smash that like, subscribe if you haven't done so, and make sure you hit that bell for notifications for all all videos for the entire channel. All right, so that is it for today. Go down into the description and access this totally 100% for free of the dispute letter tracker so that you can use the credit suite method to remove negative items from your credit report, all right? And again, if you need some help removing these and you just don't know how to do it, head over to my740.com, schedule a call with me, and I will see if I can help. I'll see you tomorrow, and that is it for tonight.